Hi, question number 7. The complex number 3 minus 5i over 1 plus 4i is denoted by u, showing your working express u in the form uh, x plus iy where x and y are real. Okay, let's do this. Now, to be able to do that, what we're going to have to do is to multiply the complex number by the conjugate of its denominator, which I have already illustrated here. So, 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times minus 4i is minus 12i, minus 5 times i is minus 5i, and minus 5i times minus 4i is plus 20i squared, which is minus 1, divided by 1 to the square minus 4i to the square. So that's going to give us then um, Minus 12 minus 5 is minus 17. 3 minus 20 is minus 17. So we've got minus 17 minus 17i divided by 1 minus minus 16, which is then again 17. So u is going to be equal to minus 1 minus i. Check it out in the calculator here. And here's the answer. Minus 1 minus i. So these two correspond. So here we go. Now that's the first part. For the second part, b of the question on a sketch of an organ diagram shape the region whose points represent the complex numbers satisfying the inequalities of the mod of z minus 2 minus i less or equal to 1 and the mod of z minus i is less or equal to the mod of z minus 2 four marks let's take a look and uh, try to understand what these complex numbers represent so we've got the first one like this here so this one is basically then z minus 2 plus i in brackets, the mod of that, less or equal to 1. So basically here we're looking at a circle. The circle has center 2, 1. 2, 1 is the center. Let me just call it C. And then the radius is equal to 1. Right, so that's the first one. Then we've got uh, the second complex number, z minus i mod of z minus i being less or equal to mod of z minus 2. Now that's basically the perpendicular bisector of a line. And here we've got z minus i in brackets being less or equal to z minus 2 in brackets. And if we were to draw these two on uh, a diagram, the circles center 2, 1, radius 1, which have already been drawn here. Okay, this is 2 and this is 2, 1, that's the circle, 2, 1 is the center, and the radius is 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, now, from here, we need to draw this one. What about this? This is the point um, 0, 1, and this is the point 2, 0. So we just have to plot these two points and draw a line, and then bisect the line. So I'm going to do this, if you see what I mean here. Um, I'm going to draw 1, 0, let's push this, push this away to the tier, 1, here, 2. I mean, there we go. That should be it. So this is your line. And now we need to bisect the line. I've already put the bisectors. So, I mean, I've already done the construction here. We bisect the line. We get a perpendicular bisector of this line. So this should be the drawings. Now, what again is being told here is that this is less or equal. This one is less than this one. And here again we've got the radius and the circle. It is less or equal to 1. If it's less or equal to 1, we're looking at the shaded region inside the circle. So I'm going to shade all of it here. Also, what does this mean? It means that points the distance of points to the to 1 is less than distance distance of points to this coordinate so distance of points to i um, towards this line should be less than distance of point to 2 therefore it should be less should be on this side so over here then we've got double shading remember at the beginning i said we shade the circle then we now we're going to shade this region so this is the answer to the question so that's the that's the region. All right. So let's get it. And also um, for the third part now, we need to find calculate the maximum value of the argument of z for points lying in the shaded region. 
maximum of, uh, of the argument of Z for points lying in the shade region would be here, and then maximum would be on the on the circumference. So maybe I can draw something like this here, like probably tangent to the to the radius. So we have got one here. So this should be what I mean by the here we go. So that's that should be the point. 90 degrees, 90 degrees. So what we're going to do, we're going to calculate the angle here and the angle here. These two are the same. So one angle, they multiply by two. So the height here is one, and this thing is here is two. So one over two. The argument of that is going to be inverse tan. Okay, so we're going to say for the B second part, we're looking at the let's call it theta, the inverse tan of 0 0.5. Let's do that in a calculator. And uh, inverse tan of 0 0.5. And then you multiply this by 2. 0 0.927 to three significant figures. All right, so this is going to be multiplied by 2. And the answer then should be 0 0.927 to three significant figures. So that's the uh, maximum value of the argument of Z. Maximum value of the argument, uh, sorry, argument of Z, of points lying in the shaded region. So here we are for this question. Take care.